Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I got a DIY for you today. We are gonna transform the Dollar Tree Christmas tree into a super cute work tree that I'm gonna take to work. So some materials that you're gonna need, two batteries, if you're using battery operated lights, which I am. So one tree, um, I got this garland, I've already opened it. It's 15 feet of garland that's wired. If you don't have the garland or you can't find that, you can use the ties as well. I just thought the garland was a better option. A star, this is off of the Dollar Tree. For the top of the tree, I have some scissors, some wire nips. I am using one of these tree skirts. It's for a real tree, but I'm going to cut it down and I'll show you. Now, the Dollar Tree does sell the mini tree skirts, but they're sparkly and I didn't want that. Um, I bought uh, two bags of these plastic stars and I've already strung them on wire. And I bought this wire at the Dollar Tree and that's what I strung them on. And I picked up these ornaments at... Walmart. I don't know if I'm going to use them or not. These may, oh, you know what? I think these are going to end up on my gnome garland for my kitchen because I think that would be perfect. Okay, we're not using these. Scratch these because I have a better place for those. Um, I picked up a package of these ornaments from the Dollar Tree. These are the Jingle Bells. You could totally just do these. I will show you the other ornaments I have in a minute. I am going to use these star lights and they take two AA batteries and you'll need a screwdriver to get that open. I got a package of this gold miniature garland and it has little stars on it. I'm trying to get it out the middle here. This stuff is great too. For gift, you could use it for garland, but gift wrapping, this would be fun. And I know they have it in silver and red. I don't know what other colors, um, but it had, does have some little stars in the gold. So I grabbed that. And then I have two packages of these. I'm not sure if they'll go on or not. Um, I have some ornament hooks that I bought at the Dollar Tree, which I need to take those downstairs from my big tree. Now I have these little tiny ornaments that I got last year or the year before at Target's Dollar Spot. These are tiny. These are about the same size as these bells. Now, the Dollar Tree does sell the small ornament packages. They're a little bigger than this, but they would be perfect. Um, so I have three packages of these and I've already hung the ornament hooks on them. Um, did I say scissors and wire nips? You're gonna want wire nips. I think that's everything. So what I'm gonna do, I have some ribbon in case I decide to do a bow instead, which I doubt I will, just in case. So let me open all this stuff up, flip you around, and I will show you how we're gonna build this tree. All right, got the tree together. I'm gonna move this over here. You need to have a better view of what I'm doing. All I did is opened up the tree and I pulled all these branches out flat. And do you see how sparse this tree is? It's a sad little tree, but it was a dollar. What do we expect, honestly? So first thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you. I always forget when I buy these bells thinking they're ornaments, it's garland. I don't want garland. So what I do want is to hang these bells. Now you could just do a regular bell, but I liked the gold little tops that come on them. I think they're gonna add some sparkle. So I cut off all the string. I'm just hanging the bell on the hook and you want to flatten this ornament hook. Oops, there you are. You want to flatten the ornament hook down like this. And then you just take this cap and go up and over. And when it hangs on the tree, it'll have that little extra little detail at the top that we like. You could glue it on there, but I'm afraid I'll lose the jingle. Not that my tree is gonna jingle, but you know, just in case. So first things first, garland. It's not the same as this tree and that's okay. So we're gonna push these bottom ones just down a little tiny bit. 
kind of make them look like a real Christmas tree would look and not some kind of bizarro Charlie Brownish tree or a Grinch tree for that matter. So all I did is I just kind of, like on your real tree, I just gave them a little bend down. Now I'm gonna cut some pieces of this pretty long. This is why you want your wire snips. Oops, sorry. Um, and I would say for this bottom row, we would want two, maybe three. So I'm just snipping them with the wire snips. And you take your first piece, you kind of want to find the middle. And all I'm going to do is go around the tree here in the middle and tighten up, I'm just twisting it like a bread tie. Remember those? I'll go back and trim them after. But you want them to just give you some more room in the center. So I feel that three will be sufficient for each, or for this bottom layer. So that'll give us six more. And it also, I'm gonna show you here in a second before I trim anything, if this bottom one even needs trim, which I'm starting to think it doesn't, for the bottom row anyway. So all I did is I went around the middle, turned, twisted it, and then you're gonna fluff it at the end and determine if anything needs to be trimmed, which I don't feel like it does for now, but look at, now should I put one more? Probably. So I'll just snip off one more and put it in the bottom, because you want your bottom to be kind of full, right? And we're gonna go back and, like I said, fluff it after the fact. Okay, I still have some garland left, which is nice. The next, the next thing we want to do, I'm taking this tree skirt over here, right? And I have folded it in half and half and in half to make this triangle. This is how you cut circles, by the way. I'm going to put it up under the tree and determine how far out I want it to go, which is probably like here, I would say. I am literally just going to cut a ziggy zaggy just because then I don't have to make it perfect and here is the tree skirt isn't that fun and it, it's like a scalloped little edge to it and I'll show you and this is a normal size tree skirt, so it's gonna be a little big for this tree, but you can just overlap it in the back. But look at that. I didn't want the sparkly sparklies. So I have a little felt tree skirt. That makes me happy. So this will get packed up when I take the tree to work. It'll get packed up. Now, I grabbed some batteries. These little kits from the Dollar Tree are fabulous for your glasses, but also for all these little lights and stuff that need screws removed, and they're magnetic. Love it. So here's what the lights look like on the stars. Now, my office is lit up, so honestly, it's, it's not like a huge thing to have lights. Um, you know, it's not gonna be in the dark, but we do want something so we're just gonna kind of you know weave these loosely down the tree nothing of any great importance and they have all different ones i just went with the star theme for this tree um, and if you remember gold so i'm gonna do my lights first there we go just like you do on a real tree or on a big tree i should say this is a real tree, right? There we go. So I have my lights on it now. You know, there could be more, but again, I'll turn them on at work, but there's no need. Let's be truthful. Okay, so that was step one. You got your lights. Now, I created with these stars a garland, and I'm going to feed these onto the tree next. 
I'm not a garlic person because I've had cats, right? And cats, oh, I put this on a wire for this specific reason. Because it's a little tiny tree, I want to be able to kind of put it where I want it to go and have it drape. Oops, you can't even see what I'm doing here, guys. I want to have it drape, and I thought the best way to do that is to use wire. And I'm happy I did. And I have four of these. I just strung up all of the garlands. Are all the beads onto garland? Because I didn't know exactly what I would need. And it looks like two might be the magic number, but who knows. And then where I start or finish the last one, I'll just start the next one. Now I'm going to tuck it in the middle here and use this wire to my advantage. And kind of, you know, wrap it around the branches. Maybe I'll end up using three. I don't know. We'll see. Hope you can see what I'm doing here. I'm honestly, yeah, I should go this direction. I'm garlanding. Just like you do, yeah, I'll use three of them. Just like you do on a real, tree, you know, a big tree. And like I said, this is a real tree. It just happens to be a little real tree and not a big real tree. So you get away with a lot more, I feel like, when you do a mini, a miniature tree. And it's just gonna sit on my desk at work. Nothing of any craziness. All right, so we got the gold star garland wrapped about the tree, do you see it? And the good thing about these lights, wherever I decide is the front or the back when I get to that point, and that'll probably be when I get to work, um, it doesn't matter. Now you kinda wanna fluff again. And then the last garland I'm putting on before the ornaments is this sparkly garland. Guys, look at it. Isn't that fun? Uh, fast forward, doing the same thing. Like, there's missing lights. There's big gaps, guys. That's, you can get two strings of lights, but to be honest, I probably won't even turn on one. <laughs> but maybe, we'll see. So turn those off. Now we're gonna start hanging the ornaments. I think we'll start with the bells, and I'm just going to hang them, just like you would, you know, any ornament on any tree. Alright guys, this is what it's going to look like at my office. I'll turn the light on in a second. My two gnomes with my Christmas tree, and this little tea light lantern I got at CVS. They were $3.99 and I just had to have it because it matches. My little scene now hold on one second all right here is the tree there is the star on top and I did add some extra garland under here to make it thicker the gold garland in here we have the stars the lights all the bulbs I use every bulb and every single jingle bell and i love it and this is going to sit on my desk at work so i hope you guys enjoyed and you have a great day bye